Hey everybody, Dave here, and I wanted to take a moment to show you how to play Simple Minds' Don't You Forget About Me um, from the 80s and 90s sound pack for the Core Chronos from Adora.ca. So this is one of those songs that I don't know really well. I know it really well to hear it, but I don't know it really well to play it because I've never actually rehearsed this song. Uh, that being said, uh, I do remember some tips and tricks from when I was actually recording, uh, building the sound pack. So right off the beginning of the song, you have this uh, piano hit. <laughs> Like that I forget what it is anyway so all it is is it's a E5 well this is in this case it's D and then E and then it, and this is C D D E and then immediately it goes into the first pad don't you forget about me I don't know the words but I'm playing it anyway so so what we're doing is it's E major, D major, uh, both in the second inversion, and then A in the root position. Now I suppose you probably could put in the root note on your left hand if you wanted to. Now when you're watching the music video, um, funny enough, he's playing the root notes except you don't hear them. So if you wanted to be accurate to the album, you'd just play. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. So those are during the verses. Something, something, something. And then it gets to the chorus. <laughs> so during the chorus, um, it actually has these, these big hits. So it goes... Um, it goes in, uh, so it's E in the left hand. Okay, so what's happening here? You've got a vocal pad, it's uh, supporting the vocals, so it's even before these big hits come in, it just goes. Okay, so what are we playing? It's D major in the second inversion. Uh, e major, sorry. Then we're going to, uh, it's going to be the A sus4. And then we go to A, second inversion. And then back to D. So it sounds like this. So what's happening there is at the end of the chorus, it goes into this, like, um, I don't know what you would call it from a music standpoint. It's like after the chorus, but before your verses happen again. So all we're doing is we're, do we're going up our inversions. Then it goes to this part. So. Don't you stand beside me. Walk away. So here's what I'm playing, is I'm playing C, and there's different variations on how you can do this. Um, because it was several overdubs plus, you know, proper vocals and all that kind of stuff, um, this is kind of being emulated on the chrono. So you could do it like this. Don't you stand, like you could do the whole thing if you really wanted it, like a big sound. Or you could just kind of do this. Don't you stand beside me, walk away. I don't know the words here. But the rain keeps falling. Okay, so what are the chords? Um, during that kind of breakdown, it's C, then G, then D major, then um, A major. And that transitions back into the piano hits where it goes. Hey, 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 hey. And so on. 
Then we go back to the verse pad. And so on. So that hasn't changed. And this is basically the same idea. Then it goes to the breakdown section. So this is where things uh, break down. Maybe it's the bridge. Um, basically what happens is initially you just have this kind of... Um, and then you have the piano that's kind of jumping in. It's something like that. There's a, there's a rhythmic kind of punchiness with the piano, but if you listen really closely, you can hear it fairly easily. Anyway, and then it goes back to your chorus sounds, which is your big piano, piano pad. So if you listen, all of the sounds that you need are here uh, in the right order. It's just making sure that you understand, you know, what the what the hits are and what the parts are. And I don't know all of them really well, um, but hopefully there's enough here uh, that you'll be able to make your way through the song. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. And let me know. Thanks.